Hi, my name is Kurt Norbury, I'm a British wildlife and landscape photographer and today I'm going to be reviewing the Spider 4 Elite. As photographers it's crucial that we get the most out of the colour that our cameras produce, whether that's for our monitors, or printing, or sending to clients. Now, most people don't like using calibrating devices as they feel that their monitor is capturing the colour that they think is more is the best. Well, you probably most computers do have a cast on them which you won't even notice as you're so your eyes are so used to seeing it. Now, I was one of those people I haven't used a calibrator. This is the first time I've used one and I thought my iMac was completely fine with colour. After using the Spider 4, I noticed my color, my screen was actually had a very yellow cast to it, which was affecting my images, which I didn't know, because as, as your eyes you cannot see it. And after that, I've noticed it on other displays, like even on my iPhone, which this can also calibrate. Today I'm going to be talking about how easy it is to use, and how easy it is for you to set up and make sure your colours on your monitor are correct. Inside the box of the Spider 4 Elite you get the device, a stand and also the software CD with the application. And now I'm going to show you how to plug it in, set it up and get your monitor calibrated. Hello again. We are now going to set up the Spider 4 Elite and show you how to go through the program to the final result. You first click on the application just here. I've added it to my dock. Now, it's given you all these options here things you should do before you, st you start running it. Uh, it's definitely been on more than half an hour. There's no direct light so I'm okay for that. I've actually I've set it back to its original settings so it should be fine. And the Spider 4 is plugged in. So just gonna click next. Now, I'm just going to go through the step-by-step -step assistance, so as well as me learning how to do it, you'll also see how it's done as well. I'll just click, click Recal, which is already been clicked. Uh, leave it on 2.2, leave that as it's recommended, and we'll leave it the same as what it's been set here. Just click Next. The Spider 4 is already in its stand. It's now set up that it's the ambient light is moderately low. I think last time it said it was medium. Um, that could have been due to the time of day, it's now the evening and it's getting a little dark uh, but that shouldn't really affect anything so let's click next <clears throat> now it's asking me to place the spider onto the screen so I'm just going to change cameras and you can have a look at me putting it on the screen so all you do is you've got this little weight here you just put that behind the screen, like so, and gently just rest it on here. There we go, perfect. Just click next and the calibration will begin.
Now what it's doing is it's measuring all the colours. So it'll be showing the calibrator lots of different colours and it can read them and make sure if they're correct or not. This could take a while. I'll come back in a minute. Right, the spider's finished doing its work, so I'll do now is click finish. You can take the calibrator off the screen now. And it now, now gives you the option of saving the profile it has just created. So I'm going to call mine so I recognize it. It'll be the spider profile. And you can also set up here for the, a reminder to tell you to you need to calibrate your screen. I'm just going to leave this as never because um, I only do it once a month and it's not something I need to remind it to do. Just click save. So it's giving you the option of where it has been saved, so if you need to find it, that's where it will be. Let's click next. Now, in this page you can actually see the before and after of the calibration. So if you just click switch, you can see all these little images change colour. Now, when I click on here, you cannot see the change in colour. Um, but to describe it to you, what I'm seeing is a difference between a yellow and a blue. The old one being more yellow, this one now being more blue. In here, you can actually fine tune the colours if you're not too satisfied with them. So if you can really play around with it if you want to. So the gamma, everything. And if, if you have some little subtle changes that you want to sort, you can just click save and it will go back. So I'll just click reset after me messing around. And now I'll just click next. On here it's showing you the Comparing your display to other displays, so you can compare all color, all the color channels as well. In here, Adobe RGB being the biggest. This is another profile here, which is represented by these blue lines. Right, there's nothing else really I need to do here, everything's been done, and that just shows how easy it is to calibrate your monitor. And now I'll just click quit. And there you have it. Well, I've now finished calibrating my monitor, and it's now fully calibrated how it should be. After using the Spider 4, I can't re recommend it enough to people, especially landscape photographers, where printing is such a key part of their business. If you want to be able to get your correct colours, send it to your printer, or even send it to other printers. This is a very key tool in making sure that workflow is nice and smooth and you see the full colours that you see on your screen. If you'd like any more information on this product, check the links in the video and also check my review on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thank you.